Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I gotta tell you, if you're planning to buy a bike, you're probably gonna come to this question. Should I buy a new bike or should I buy a used bike? And I'm gonna tell you, you know, no doubt that new bikes are going to have a lot of benefits. Obviously they're new, obviously they're not going to have issues typically and obviously they are really, really expensive. For most part, you know, obviously there's a ton of good deals out there, but primarily they're gonna be really expensive. That's why a lot of you guys, just like me, kinda move themselves from that new bike into a used bike looking for a good deal. But I wanted to make this video because just several months ago, I kinda found myself in the same boat, you know? I wanted to buy a bike and I wanted to buy a Harley and I came down to a couple of my favorite bikes from Harley which are the Road King, uh, essentially all the touring bikes, you know, the Street Glide, the Road Glide, the Electric Glide. I also enjoy very much the Heritage Soft Tail and another bike that I like really a lot is the Deluxe. So again, you know, I kind of like that old school style, old school uh, look. With the, with the apes and fish tails and all that stuff. I like that, you know, you like whatever you like. Some of the young kid now liking uh, a lot of the performance. I like the look primarily. So as I was looking at bikes and I did my research, I came to a couple issues when it came to the new bike. And the biggest one was the price, you know, it was insane. You know, they're talking about crazy payments of $500 a month and things like that. I mean, frankly, you know, I just could not afford that. That was just too much money to me. I even got a race at work, so I thought about, you know, got this nice race going on, so now I could potentially afford it, but I decided not to, you know. I prefer to have a little bit extra money and go out eating with my kids and, you know, go camping and things like that than putting myself in debt. That was a decision that I made. That's kind of primarily why I went into the youth market but obviously new bikes have great, really great benefits. You know, they're new, they're not gonna have any issues and they're gonna last, you know, longer. Obviously they're a new bike, but nevertheless, you still put yourself in that crazy payment, right? So again, you know, if you have a lot of money, this video, it doesn't really apply to you. But I started looking at the used market and I kind of came out with this reasons why. And the first one is gonna be the selection. You know, if you go into the used market, you're going to have a large selection, really large. There's bikes that they don't make no more, like the V-Rod. I think they stopped making it maybe 2016, 2017. And some bikes out there that they just don't make. So, again, you know, that selection is going to be out there. And you may be able to get a really good deal. One bike that I came across a lot that was very affordable was the Heritage Softail. And I'm going to tell you, you know, some of the 2002, 2003, 2005 models around that year, obviously, you know, a lot of years by now, but again, you know, 2002, 2003, I saw a lot of those bikes for about, I want to say about $4,000, $5,000. And they look amazing, you know, beautiful bars, uh, bags. You guys know the Heritage Softail. Usually have issues with the uh, saddlebags after so many years. The bags kind of look like crap, but you know what? That's not a big deal at all, you know? Still has a nice look, still nice, uh, nice bike and all that. So again, you know, the selection of bikes out there, because there is thousands and thousands of Harley, it's just gonna allow you to get a really good deal. Now, the second thing that you may think about, and this is coming from, again, you know, old bikes compared to new bikes, is that you're going to be able to find out if that bike is actually good or not because of the reputation, because of what it has. You know, as I'm doing my research and you look at some of the bikes like the Roking, right? And you're starting to want to buy one of this bike. Well, now you know that in 2009, they made a big uh, change to the frame. And I want to say again in 2014, maybe, I don't know. I know 2009 for sure they changed the tire in the back. Uh, again, you know, every year it comes down to like the engine. Some of the engines are, you know, obviously I got an 88, but you got a 96, you got a 103. So you kind of could do that research and then you kind of find out 
some of the issues that that engine had or some of the issues that the motorcycle had and then allows you to pick the best one right and again you know if your bike is actually a decent bike just based on the reviews that a lot of people are doing because like i said you know so many years so many guys have put so many miles so many guys have used the bike that obviously is simple for you to find out if there's any issues and things like that another thing is going to be accessories and you know if a bike actually did pretty good in the market you're going to be able to find a lot of assess accessories and things like that i got a friend of mine that bought a bike brand new i think it's a fdr something and it's a gorgeous bike but it's not a common harley you know it has a, a different look right kind of like a muscle bike kind of like the v-row used to be back in the days and again you know it's a beautiful bike but the problem is that there is barely any accessories out there barely any aftermarket uh perks because being a new bike and apparently is not doing so good in sales in the united states which i'm not really surprised because you know a lot of hardly guys like the tradition you know bars and all that stuff so again i'm not really surprised that it's not doing that good, but nevertheless it's a beautiful bike so again you're gonna have a nice selection you're gonna have reviews out there that you can find and you could potentially uh, they make a decision if it's a good bike or if it's not a good bike so you're gonna have a lot of information that is gonna help you make that decision all right one thing that i didn't take advantage of but it makes a lot of sense and in my next bike i'm definitely gonna take advantage of this is upgrades and as you look at a bike as you look at a new bike what do you like again you know i like bars so i know i'm gonna have some apes on the on the motorcycle one point but if i ever buy another bike i know i'm gonna want that so look out for a bike that already has those upgrades and you'd be surprised you may be able to find a bike that is gorgeous exactly what you want that have those upgrades and it's barely going to cost you anything you know i'm going to tell you from doing showing prices and looking up for information apes are going to cost a little bit over a thousand dollars on this bike that is a lot of money a thousand dollars is a lot of money so again if you find a road king they already have those apes and to me it's a great deal because like i say you're already saving money if i already have bags like i put this uh vikings bags on this motorcycle stretch if you find a bike that already has those bags again easy you know you don't have to worry about it already has it and again you know you'll be able to find those upgrades really really easy you can find a stage one you can find you can find a lot of things out there guys but obviously that's going to be in the used market some people are going to spend so much money i'm going to tell you some people are going to spend a lot of money to make the bikes just the way you want to and you know what for whatever reason they're going to upgrade the bikes or they're going to get a new one or maybe they can't afford it no more and guess what you're going to be able to get that bike for a really good price all right i'm going to make one last point but let me know what you think down in the comment section below i really want to know your opinion the last one is going to be a price and like i said in many other videos as i went to look at a new bike i was just in shock that some of the bikes are so expensive and yes they could finance you for 72 months 84 months or something crazy and they could put you in a beautiful street glide or a beautiful road glide at a good price of 500 dollars a month that's not what i was going to do again that was just my decision but the price is crazy but in the used market you may be able to find a bike at a very very good price and i'm going to tell you like i said many times i found this road king for 6500 dollars with not even 7,000 miles i think i can't remember now for a really good price so like i say it would be very very easy for you to find a really nice bike at a really nice price like i said the heritage soft tail uh the road king the deluxe all those bikes you know even some of the older electric lights you can find it at a good price and there's really not no reason to go all crazy many guys go on cruise with older motorcycles with no issues again let me know what you think put comments down below and as always guys gotta send control